detach here in the front, and then it can reattach here in the back. Now, it's usually a lot easier, but you know, whenever you know a bunch of people are watching you, you always screw up. But here we go. Hey YouTube, it's Meanie from BAM Tactical here. Um, I'm out walking, uh, working out, um, getting ready for my bug out trip that's going to happen later this week. And uh, I just wanted to talk a little while I'm walking. Cause these, uh, I walk for an hour and try to get in three miles and it, it gets kind of boring. So I uh, had an idea I wanted to talk about while I'm out here. You know, carrying this pack of mine out here. Uh, I'm wearing about, well, only got about 45 pounds of gear on today. Uh, like I said, uh, bug out trip trying to make it fast and light. But anyways, what I wanted to talk to you today was about uh, being physically fit and uh, physical fitness in general. And I've uh, been looking on a lot more forums and uh, watching more YouTube videos. And well, I'm trying to figure out what I can contribute to the tactical and prepper communities. And uh, I've got two degrees in kinesiology, which is the study of uh, the human body and how it moves. And uh, so I thought this was a good, good uh, thing I could contribute with. Well, there's, there's, uh, there's five aspects of physical fitness, all right? Uh, the number one thing that most guys, men in general, and especially the tactical and prepper types, uh, they want to they wanna focus on is the uh, muscular strength. And this is the weightlifting, particularly the heavy weightlifting. You know, they're doing the deadlifts and the squats and doing the five sets of five or three sets of five and, and doing the heavy weight. And this will make you stronger. Uh, yes, it will. And it will and it'll actually make you bulkier. It's not a way to lose weight. It's not a way to build cardiovascular fitness. You know, it's a, it's a way to get stronger. It's muscular strength. That's the, it's the first aspect of physical fitness. But there are four more. And these four, I feel like, are way disregarded. They're, people don't pay enough attention to these other four. So, number two, muscular endurance. These are your slow twitch muscle fibers. What I'm doing right now, I'm walking, carrying this weight, all right? My lower body is getting a muscular endurance workout as well as me getting a cardiovascular workout, all right? So muscular endurance. When I lift, I don't do uh, small sets. I do big sets. I do two sets of 15 at a lighter weight. I don't do anything over 135 pounds ever. Uh, do two sets of 15 on bench with 135, two sets of 15 on squat with 135. All right, back never hurts, uh, joints don't ever hurt, but I get stronger, I do. And as it gets too easy, because some guys are gonna say, oh, well, that's just way too easy for me. Well, then you start the eccentric lifting. You're, you're going real slow on the way down, pause for a second at the bottom and then go up. All right, you'll still get stronger. But you're working that muscular endurance while working that muscular strength. All right, sorry, the camera's getting a little shaky right now. I am getting into a little rougher terrain. Uh, I'm just walking on bayou down here, as you can see. Uh, you know, a little more private. Uh, but anyways, so number three, cardiovascular uh, fitness. This is working your heart. This is where jogging, swimming, like I said, walking, uh, anything that gets your heart rate up, um, and keeps it up and that's the thing is it's, it's got to be an aerobic workout that keeps your heart rate up all right aerobic means that it takes a lot of oxygen um, when you lift heavy and then you take a break a good minute or two before your next lift yes i understand that's how you lift more weight but it is not how you do a cardiovascular workout it's not how you do an, an aerobic workout you know that's an anaerobic workout a workout without oxygen all right, sprints are also an anaerobic lift. And when we're talking about doing these aerobic things. So uh, walking, jogging, anything that takes 20 minutes or more and uh, gets your heart rate up and keeps it up. Uh, when you run a mile, you know, it only takes you eight minutes and that's, that's it for the day. That's not a great cardiovascular workout because you didn't keep that heart rate up for a long period of time. All right, so fourth aspect of physical fitness. 
is uh, flexibility. And this is one that men in general way ignore, all right? Your lower back hurts, it's probably because you don't stretch enough. It's probably because your hamstrings and your lower back are tight because you don't stretch enough. All right, flexibility is a huge way to prevent injuries, all right? When you, when you uh, roll an ankle or you, you know, pull a muscle, it's because that soft tissue wasn't flexible enough. So, flexibility is a huge way to prevent injuries. If you're a prepper and you're like, I like to prepare for medical things, well, stretching is a good way to prepare for you to not get hurt. All right, the fifth aspect, and this is your speed agility, right? Not talking broad jump, I'm not talking about a 20 yard sprint, I'm talking about changing directions, all right? You know, uh, some of you, if you watch the NFL combine, you're doing five, 10 fives and stuff like that. That's, that's the speed and agility I'm talking about. And that's, uh, it's fast twitch muscle fibers and it's, and uh, you know, you gotta remember to work that out because in, uh, I like tactile responses, they move motionless operators ventilate easily. Well, slow moving operators also ventilate easily. So you gotta be able to practice your speed and get your speed up. All right, so those are the five aspects of physical fitness. Muscular strength, muscular endurance, cardiovascular, flexibility, and speed and agility. All right, now, You've got to balance those in your workout. If you don't balance them, say you want to focus on muscular strength. Maybe you're saying, I just want to get stronger right now. You know, in the, in the winter months, you see a lot of people do that. Weather's not good outside. I'm just going to go to the gym. That's fine. But you've got to cycle on and off if you're going to do that. Six weeks muscular endurance. All right, next six weeks, I'm focusing on cardio. All right, next six weeks, I'm focusing on flexibility. I'm going to do some yoga, something like that. All right. Now, you can't, with what I do is on Mondays and Wednesdays, I lift two sets of 15 on everything. I do a full body lift, all right? On Tuesdays, I do this, what I'm doing right now. It's cardiovascular and it's uh, muscular endurance. On Thursdays, I run three miles. Uh, takes me about half an hour, all right? Uh, make sure I run half an hour. Sometimes I get up to three and a half miles. But I want to keep that cardio up. I want to keep that heart rate up. Uh, Fridays, I do a, a circuit, a lifting circuit, where zero rest in between lifts. You go from one lift to the next, kind of like uh, CrossFit, if, the, if any of y'all do that. Uh, but it's, it's a good way to keep the heart rate up while still getting a decent muscular workout. All right, and then Saturdays, I do speed. I'll go out in the neighborhood. There's a long street that's uphill. I'll do some buildups. I'll do some short sprints. Uh, but you got to cover all aspects. All right, and that's what this video is really about. Too many people focus on one thing, and they they're missing out. You know, it's just like prepping for all bullets and no medical or food, or all food and no won't have any guns in your house. All right, you got to be well-rounded, even physically. All right, this is just another way for you to prepare. It doesn't cost you any money. All right, go work out and do it right. And remember, those who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Thanks for watching.